Hey everyone, it's Natalie. Welcome to my channel. Today I have another coffee recipes video for you. I do these seasonally and I love sharing with you the recipes that I come up with. This time around I have some Valentine's Day inspired coffee recipes that I think you're going to love, especially because they don't have any yucky artificial colorings or flavorings in them. I like to keep those things out of my diet and I want to say that any of these recipes can be customized to your own diet needs, feel free to use any milks or sweeteners that you prefer to substitute it out. And for those of you who watch my coffee videos but you don't actually drink coffee, first of all, you are awesome. Thank you so much for still being here to watch this video. But I have a special treat for you over on my Instagram the week this video goes up. I will be sharing a special non-coffee Valentine's Day inspired beverage that you won't want to miss. So follow me over there at Natalie Bennett Vlogs. But whether you are a coffee drinker like I am or not, I do hope you enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do while you're watching it and let me know in the comments what end of the Valentine spectrum you prefer, like the more sexy black and red side or the more cutesy pinks and purples. Let me know in the comments and let's hop into our first coffee recipe. So for today's recipes, I'm going to be making my coffee a few different ways. I'll be pulling shots from my espresso machine, making some brewed coffee in my French press, and using an instant coffee that I'm really enjoying. This is how I like to make my coffee, but feel free to play around with different brew methods and make your coffee how you like it best. And by the way, all of the products that I can link, like glassware, straws, coffee makers, and some of the ingredients, will be in the description box if you're curious. I love you, I give you everything you want me to. The first coffee we're making today is one that is perfect for your Valentine season morning cup of joe. My daughter Haley and I have enjoyed a little weekly ritual of doing some homeschooling while sipping this delicious cappuccino a la rose while her brothers are at their morning kindergarten class. In my adult size cup, it starts with a tablespoon of this lovely rose simple syrup. This can be found on Amazon, which I'll link in the description box or at specialty food stores. Look at how gorgeous that natural rose color is and it smells even better. Next, I'm gonna steam some half and half with the steam wand on my espresso machine to have it ready to pour into my coffee. You can also make steamed milk on the stove if you don't have an espresso machine. I love half and half in a cappuccino, but again, feel free to use whatever milk suits you. Next, I finely grind some espresso beans that I get at a local organic market food co-op and add them to the portafilter of my espresso machine. Haley always loves watching the shots drip down into the mug, and after the espresso shots are pulled, I free pour that lovely velvety smooth steam breve into my coffee. Now I'm not very good at latte art, but with the help of a spoon or a toothpick, it's fun to make designs in the foam, but the garnish doesn't stop there. I'm also adding some food grade rose petals to the top of the drink for a little extra Valentine's flair. In a tiny cup, I'm making a decaf version of this that's mostly milk for Haley, so we can share this nice treat together. And you know, she's my little Galentine, and this cappuccino is one of her favorites I've made for our morning coffee together. If I could, I'd burn down the moon and give that to I think the rose petals on top are the best part for her. They're fun and girly, and I really enjoy the subtle sweetness of this drink. It's lightly floral and beautifully balanced with the rich cream and bold espresso. My next recipe is a fun one and a little extra, but it's the season of love, so why not? This is my coconut red velvet cold brew, and we're going to start the night before with the cold brew. I'm first going to coarsely grind some coffee beans and add them and some cold water to my French press coffee maker. After giving it a little stir, that's gonna sit in the fridge and brew overnight. For the red velvet portion of the drink, I'm adding a cup of coconut milk to a mixing bowl or mason jar and adding a teaspoon of this red beet powder to it. This powder is a great natural alternative to food dyes and adds some healthy benefits like vitamin C and antioxidants and iron to my diet. You can mix this by hand with a fork, but I prefer this little frother hand mixer to get the job done. I love how this adds that lovely red velvet-esque color to the milk. And to my glass mug, I'm adding some of this coconut cream syrup for sweet sweetness and then pouring my cold brew over that. 
After giving that a little mix, I'm pouring my red velvet coconut milk on top and garnishing with some toasted coconut and a bit of that red beet powder to really represent that red velvet theme for the drink. We served red velvet cake at our wedding, so it's very romantic and special to me, and I'm so glad to find a healthier alternative to the typical red dye that you find in red velvet treats. This drink is so yummy and perfect for Valentine's Day. Sipping coffee under the apple tree and the last Valentine's Day coffee recipe that I have for you today is one that is perfect to share with a sweetheart or one of your girlfriends for like a Valentine's Day get together. Its presentation is super fun and elevates your typical coffee drink to a more evening appropriate beverage. It's my chocolate covered strawberry mocha mocktail. Now, I don't personally drink alcohol, so I don't own the typical bartending supplies of someone who might. So I'm improvising a cocktail shaker with this mason jar and coordinating lid to shake up this drink. We're going to start with about a half cup of hot water from the tap and add a tablespoon of this instant coffee mix. Just a note, if you are making this in the evening, I suggest using a decaf version so you're not up all night. Next, I am adding two tablespoons of a cocoa mix that I made. This has pure cacao powder in it and has less sugar and no artificial flavoring, but you can use any cocoa mix that you like. Next, I'm adding two tablespoons of this lovely strawberry syrup. I really like this one in particular because it doesn't have any synthetic food coloring or artificial flavors. This stuff is the real deal and really makes the drink taste like an actual chocolate covered strawberry. I'm adding a handful of ice cubes to the jar which will chill the beverage and melt after shaking it up for a bit. After the drink is sufficiently shaken, I pour it into a large martini glass. If you still have ice in yours, you can pour the mixture through a sieve to strain those out or use a traditional cocktail shaker that will solve the problem. And then next I add this fun cocktail stick with a few skewered heart-shaped strawberry pieces for a special touch. Well, you're a good man, quite the best man. Well, that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed these coffee recipes. They're all written in the description box if you wanna check them out for yourself and recreate them. And if you do recreate them, whether you put your own spin on it or not, I would love to see that. So go tag me over on Instagram. I'm at Natalie Bennett Vlogs. Head over there to see my non-coffee Valentine's Day inspired beverage as well. And I am going to sip on my favorite one of these recipes, which is this rose cappuccino, cappuccino a la rose. I am in love with this because it's just slightly sweet. It's not too sweet. And I know Weston's favorite is that uh, chocolate strawberry mocktail. Mm. <laughs> this is seriously so good. And I can't wait to see if you guys try any of these recipes out for yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Happy Valentine's Day and I'll catch you later. <laughs> Zooby, zooby, zooby. I can't. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I told you. Stop it. Oh my gosh. And then use this hand to pick it up and sprinkle it on. Can you pick it up with these fingers and sprinkle it on? <laughs> Good job. Good job. spicy tonight. Oh my gosh. I got my red lipstick on. It's the same day as I filmed the other things, but you know what? We're pretending it's a different day. And you want to do the whole cross things. Well, who's getting my drink? I thought you were supposed to feed yourself. No. What's the point? No, wait. Maybe you do. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's chocolate all over my mouth. That's all we can show you, folks. Maybe.